This is the part 2 of our lecture series. Previously, we talked about orthographic projections and perspective drawing. Now we will move on to your engineering lecture. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, click the subscribe button for more interesting contents and extra points. Now let's move on to our next topic which is engineering lettering. So what is lettering? The most important characteristic of lettering are legibility and consistency. The character of the typeface we use should be appropriate to the design being presented and not detract from the drawing themselves. So the importance of lettering and engineering drawing is to provide additional information of the visual presentation of the drawing. So lettering is also equal to typography. So in lettering, spacing is very important. We space letters by optically equalizing the areas between the letter forms rather than by mechanically measuring the distance between the extremities of each letter. Lowercase lettering is particularly appropriate for bodies of text. Lowercase lettering is appropriate if executed consistently throughout a presentation, while serif enhance the recognition and readability of letter forms. Serifs are the fine lines used to finish off the main strokes of a letter form. The use of guidelines to control the height and line spacing of hand lettering is essential. This is very important. You use your guidelines, get your fine pencil to draw your guidelines. We have different types of font lettering typeface, which is the Helvetica, which is a very legible typeface. Helvetica narrow is useful when space is tight. Times is a classic example of typeface with serifs. Palatino has broader proportions than time. What is the origin of lettering? Before printing was introduced by Gothenburg in the 15th century, all letter styles were made by hand, and their designs were modified according to the taste of the individual writer, such as Gothic, Roman, Italic, and the text. The plainest and most legible style is the Gothic, from which the single-stroke engineering letters are derived. The American National Standards Institute in 1935 suggested a standardization of technical letterings made by Reinhardt using a single-stroke Gothic letters. Uniformity is essential in any lettering style. Uniformity in height, proportion, inclination, strength of lines, spacing of letters, or stability of letters, and spacing of words. The use of light guidelines ensures uniformity in height. This slide presents the use of the grid lines and how the vertical uppercase of the gothic letters is done. So the height of uppercase letters and numbers is 6 units, 7 lines, 6 spaces. Width of uppercase letters is 6 units for T, O, M, Q, V, A, X, Y, 8 units for the W, 1 unit for I and number 1 and 5 units for the remaining letters. Here is also an example of the vertical lowercase gothic letters. Height of the body of the lowercase letters is 2 third uppercase height. The width of the lowercase letters is 4 units for A, C, E, S, U, O, V, X, Z, B, D, K, G, P, Q, and Y. 3 units for F, H, J, N, R, and T. 5 units for M and W and 1 unit for I and L. This is an example of inclined and upper lower case gothic letters. So another form of writing is your calligraphy, a visual art related to writing. It is the design and execution of lettering with a broad tip instrument brush or other writing instrument. You also have your by buying one of the Philippines many writing systems that exist before the coming of the Spaniards. The current script used by the majority of Filipinos based on Tagalog by buying script. The downside of by buying is it's Tagalog centric in which you can only utilize it if you are doing words that are of Tagalog origin. So here is the basic rules and the strokes and scripts of the by buying. Some examples of words translated in the by buying script. Another way to do your Engineering lettering is through the use of your lettering scriber or also known as your Leroy. So I have in here an example of my plate in architecture school which is done using Leroy.
to do your engineering lettering, you can use calligraphy pen with different point type like 1.0 or lower. So, ilalink ko dito sa description box yung full video of this this one. The key in your engineering lettering is both the paper and the pen or the ink that you will be using. So it's all about controlling your pen and practicing on how to space your letters. In doing your lettering, you need to first establish your guidelines in light lines with consistent spacing of lines. And then you can also use straight edge as a guide to do the straight parts of the letters. So for today, I will demonstrate to you the architectural lettering using the 
Leroy. So I have in here this one. Ito yung scriber. Dapat meron pa tong cup, pero wala na. So, this is the nib. Tapos, dito mo ilalagay yung tech pen. So, adjust mo siya. Yan. Yan. Tapos, ito naman yung kinatawag na CL or parang lettering guide niya. This is a 240CL. And then, ito yung maliit, 80CL. Meron pang mas maliit kesa dito. Tapos, the good thing about this one is, meron siyang all cups tsaka um, lower cups. Yan. Ito, maganda siyang CL since dalawa na yung um, sukat. You have your 100 tsaka 175. Tapos, ganun din doon sa likod niya. Paano siya ginagamit? We need to put it that way. Ah, gamitin natin yung 240 para makita nyo. So, i-slide mo lang siya dito. And then, para i-trace mo lang siya. Pang nangangalawang na ako dito ah. Pangit na ng letter nito. Gamitin naman natin yung mas maliit. Thank you. 